hi everyone this is Mayube and welcome back to another video today's video is going to be slightly longer than usual I'm going to talk about new updates on my channel and the manga I picked up for the past couple of months I'm going to put timestamps in this video for those who just want to watch the manga haul but yeah feel free to click on the timestamps in the description down below okay let's get right to it I have three projects coming soon to my channel. The first project is a manga recommendation video. It's called Let's Pair It. It's a working title, but in that video, I'll be talking about two of my favorite hobbies, which are playing video games and reading manga. I'll be talking about a selection of video games and manga I enjoyed. So yeah, here's a short clip of the intro I worked on. This might change when I'm close to finalizing the video. The next project is another manga recommendation video. I'll be talking about some romance series I really enjoyed. It is in the planning stage, so I will talk about it in another video. Finally, the third project is an interview series called Say Hello. I've been working on this project for a year now, and it's finally ready. I can't wait to share it with you all. Here's a mini preview of the interview series. Say Hello is a series of interviews I conducted with friends and family. I interviewed cosplayers, artists, professionals from the entertainment industry, videographers, and more. I'm planning on uploading every episode on Saturdays. Except for the first episode, I may upload on a Sunday because of 9-11. I may explain more of this series on the first episode. Stay tuned! Now it's time for the manga haul! In July, I went to Little Tokyo with my cousins in LA. We explored the area and ate some tasty food there. I bought mochi from the mochi shop. I love mochi. We also went to the bookstore called Kunikunia. I really enjoyed browsing in that store. They had a lot of stationery. The manga selection was extensive and I loved it. I purchased some Japanese volumes, so here's an old clip of me unwrapping what I picked up at that bookstore. Hi everyone, so last weekend I went to Little Tokyo with my cousins and we went to this Japanese bookstore there and I bought some manga which is in this little baggie here and I'm gonna quickly unbox it and show you what I got. So let's get started. manga I have is Chainsaw Man. Um, this is the Japanese version. This is the first volume and yeah, um, the English version is kind of hard to get right now so I got the Japanese version instead so it's really neat. Still in a plastic wrapper and here's the back. Oh, whoopsie. Well, there, there's the name of the Japanese bookstore. Kinokuniya. So yeah. Next, I got Kaiju number eight. This, the English version comes out, I think in December, but I'm excited to reread this manga again. Here's the back. And then the next two, are um, volume six, uh, six and seven of Spy Family. So I've been really enjoying reading volumes one through five. So I am 
Sign of Affection is a series written by the same author who wrote Shortcake Cake. I have not read any previous works by this author, but so far, I like this volume. The main character is a deaf college student, and she meets this guy who knows multiple languages but doesn't know sign language. There's an attraction between the two characters, and it's really cute. If you like A Sign of Affection, you might like the coming-of-age story called A Silent Voice, which is another series where one of the main characters is also hearing impaired. I'll pick up more volumes to see where the story is going. So here is Demon Slayer Volume 23. This is the final volume of the series. I'll say it was quite the ride. I personally liked the ending. However, I wasn't too crazy about the very last chapter. It was more of a, okay, good to know. I can't believe that the series is finally over. Now it's time for me to wait for the second season to air and get around watching Mugen Train. Can't wait to see the entertainment district art to be animated. So if you're interested in checking out the series, there will be a box set coming out soon in October. If you're on the fence about buying the physical volumes, I recommend checking out the Shonen Jump app and read the chapters on there. Here is Soul Leveling Volume 1. So this series is a manhwa and a popular webcomic. The first volume was good. I like that it is in full color. I think I'll enjoy the series more if I read the light novel. This series gives me some live action movie vibes. Here's Mint Chocolate Volumes 1 and 2. I'll be honest, while I was reading the manga, I kept pushing this off a lot. I was able to finish both volumes despite this. Mint Chocolate came out this year, please correct me if I'm wrong. I went into the series blind and I'll come out and say it. I did not like it. It's not a bad manga per se, I like the writing, art in the panels and cover art of the book. The cover grabs my attention and the design pops. I just really didn't like the romance between the two main characters. I know Nanami said she had a crush on Kyohei before she found out the news of the two being step-siblings. It's just not for me. Here is Yona of the Dawn volume 31. This series just gets better each volume. I enjoy the characters a lot. I really like Yona's character development. I like the 31st volume, but I think I enjoyed volume 30 a little more. There was a scene where two certain characters have this moment. All I'm gonna say to that is the water scene. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, um, I need a second season of the anime, please. I mentioned that I was going to do a separate video on Yona. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the project. I want to put more time into it. I will mention in an update video when that's coming out. Two Year Eternity is written by the same author who wrote A Silent Voice. I've been enjoying the anime this season, and recently I heard the series will have a season 2 in 2022, which is exciting. I want to describe this series, but I don't know which part is considered a spoiler, so all I can say is there's an orb that lands on Earth. Everything the orb interacts with, it would change into it. The orb is kind of smart, and it adapts well, and I'll stop there. I've been enjoying this series so far. There are sad moments in the story, but yeah, I'm considering picking up more volumes. Here's Chainsaw Man Volume 1 and 6. I read the first volume on the Shonen Jump app. I liked it. I should have picked it up when it first was released. It's a little hard to pick up the volumes now. I need to order the Vother volumes before it gets out of stock again. But yeah, when I first saw the trailer for the upcoming anime, I thought it looked great and so I decided to pick up more of the volumes. But at the meantime, I'll continue reading the series on the Shonen Jump app up until volume 6. Finally, here is Mashal Magic and Muscles Volume 1. I'll also add on what other manga tubers said about the series. The series is good if you like witches and wizards or even Harry Potter. It has some of the vibes in the story. The main character, Mash Burndead, reminds me of a mix between Saitama from One Punch Man and Mob from Mob Psycho 100, mostly for his haircut. I like Mash. I think he's a likable character so far. What he does is sometimes funny. I chuckled a couple of times when reading the series, but then after reading the volume, it makes me want to bake Mash's favorite post-workout snack, cream puffs. But yeah, at the time of this recording, I recommend this series if you're starting out. You can also read it on the Shonen Jump app. And that wraps up the manga haul and channel update. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one.